Hello, first tonight, the mother of Corrie McCaig has spoken out for the first time since Suffolk Police announced the investigation into her son's disappearance is being closed. Nicola Urquhart thanked officers for their hard work but says she still hasn't had answers to her questions. She says it's too soon to draw a line. Corrie went missing in September of 2016 and Suffolk Police have spent more than £2 million in the last 18 months trying to establish what happened to him. In a moment we'll hear from Mrs Urquhart, after this from Debbie Tubby. This afternoon Corrie's brothers McKeon, Derek and Derek's fiancé are trying to come to terms with the news the police have closed the case. Fully expecting that at some point that this was going to happen but we want it to be a case that we can be happy with the outcome because at the end of the day we have to try and live with this for the rest of our days. We can't find Corrie the second best thing is us being clear in our heads of everything has been done and then there is nothing that we can do. These familiar CCTV shots show Corey McCaig in Bury St Edmunds just before he disappeared. The police hypothesis he got into an industrial bin was deposited in this landfill site at Milton but has never been found. Back in 2016, Corey's mother Nicola Urquhart frustrated all the CCTV footage hadn't been viewed, stressed concerns over resources. I really don't want it to be a, a, an utter criticism of the police because it's not a criticism. It's a criticism of the government and the funding that they give the police. His mother, a Scottish police officer, launched a huge social media campaign, organised their own searches alongside the Lowland search team Salsa. Six months after he went missing, crucial evidence was discovered. The weight of the waste lorry had been wrong. The bin weighed 11 kilograms. They checked it, they double checked it so he couldn't have been in it. They checked the calibration, it was only out by grams. The police then confident answers would be found here. You can see the scale of the operation that is mounted here and that's not something that we enter into lightly. Four months later came the announcement the search had been called off. I'm so angry, I'm, I'm beyond devastated. In October 2017, news the search would be restarted in the landfill only to be called off again two months later. Meanwhile, Derek met his fiance while handing out missing leaflets in Bury St Edmunds, but they feel guilty finding happiness. It could be on the day of our wedding that Corey gets found, or it could be before that. It's just, it's a constant thing and you can't move on and I don't want to move on. Corey's my brother, he was my best friend. Corey's brothers want to move forward, but will never rest, not knowing what happened to him. Debbie Tubby, BBC Look East. Well, earlier, Corrie's mother, Nicola Urquhart, came into the Look East studio and I asked for her reaction to the police announcement. I understand uh, all cases, if they're not solved, will eventually get moved on to a cold case. Um, however, that's worked with different forces. Um, and I don't actually have a problem with that in principle. Um, I am just... Uh, I'm extremely upset that they've decided to do it now um, when they've not actually completed updating the family and they're going to give us somebody else that we have to talk to, somebody that's not been part of the investigation to try and update us. It causes more stress, more distress for myself and the family, um, more confusion. Communication has been a big problem throughout this. The police say that they have followed every proportionate line of inquiry and they are still uh, of the opinion that the, the best hypothesis is that, that Corrie did go into the landfill. So they feel they've done all they possibly can. That honestly might be the case. They have done a huge amount of work and I really do respect that. My problem is, is they've not communicated that to me. Do you think they are saying that those other lines of inquiry that you might have been concerned about aren't proportional at all or realistic to follow? No, because the lines of inquiry that I'm asking for information about are all lines of inquiry that they know about and they've said they have done something about it. So this isn't new theories that I'm suddenly coming up with and plucking out of thin air. This is the same things that we've been speaking about for the last year and a half. Nothing's changed. I'm just asking to be told what they've done. I don't think that that is unreasonable. Do you think because you are a police officer, you've expected to be more involved and shown more than maybe a, an ordinary person in this situation would have done? No, it's because I'm Corrie's mum. 
Um, this has got nothing to do with me being a police officer. I may think like a police officer, but this is my son and I want answers. I deserve answers and he deserves answers. Um, so, no, uh, it's, it's not because I'm a police officer, it's because I'm a mother. No mother who would, who would just give up and walk away, you just wouldn't. Can you understand that there are people watching this who will say 18 months of police investigation, millions of pounds spent, uh, it's time to draw a line? I can understand why people would say that when they listen to the police press releases. Um, I, you know, I didn't believe that Corrie was in the landfill, but the police started using such strong language to say that they thought he was in there and they were saying it's not a case of if we find him Nicola it's when we are going to find him here and I know the police don't do that so I really started believing them um, so if I was believing them then of course other people would would be thinking well they have actually done all they can but if I actually sat here and listed everything that I've not been given an update about just now, people would probably be horrified. What can you do now? Well, one of the things that I can do is SALSA, uh, Suffolk uh, Lowland Search and Rescue. They've obviously done a phenomenal amount of searching already for the police. A lot of the um, sightings, although the police have looked into some of them, I still have people just today, a lady has put a message on again and I take her sighting very seriously saying she is convinced that she saw Corrie. She's reported this to the police and they still haven't ever phoned her back. This has happened so many times. The police have given me permission, they've given me the maps, they've given me all the sightings um, in a document for me to be able to go to Salsa and say, right, there's been a sighting here, um, so has this area already been searched? If not, would you be able to do it for me? And Salsa have said that they will be able to do that for me. That won't cost the police anything. It won't cost me anything other than my time. And all of Salsa are volunteers. So that's one thing that I know that I can do that is constructive. This has been such a, a, a dreadful roller coaster for you and your family over the last 18 months. Will there come a point where you have to say for yourself and for your family, that you have to accept that he has gone and you're not going to find him? Yeah, sometimes it is really difficult, um, but like I've said, Corrie is my son. I, I, it's not an option. Um, no matter how down I'm feeling or upset I'm feeling, I, I just have to get a grip and, and keep going. I don't like doing this. It's exhausting. Um, but if, if I have to do it, I will to be able to get the answers for Corrie. Nicola Urquhart, thank you very much. Thank you. Corey McCaig's mother speaking to me earlier this afternoon. The first ever motorsport